started riding when I was about seven, sort of through Pony Club. I was doing a bit of mustering with my father and then I went to Pony Club and just had a great time having a lot of fun going very, very fast. My first pony's name we borrowed off some friends. Her name was Candy and she used to kick everybody. So I had a big red ribbon in her tail to try to not let anybody come near me, but her goal was to try to kick everybody pretty much. I think definitely the greatest achievement so far is the Olympic gold medal. It was just a fantastic feeling, just a wonderful thing to happen in Sydney. Home crowd, fantastic, and galloping around. We, they couldn't stop us really. We lapped and lapped and lapped. It was a great experience and I want to try to relive it and win some more. I don't think you can really have a favourite discipline in eventing these days. We have to just be really, really good at all three. So you have to be great at dressage, get somewhere around a 70 or 80% test. We have to jump clear and under time cross country and we definitely have to clear show jumping. So if I have a favourite, it'll be depending a little bit on what horse I'm sitting on and what, which one they're best at doing. But to be really competitive on a really good horse, you need to do all three phases very, very well. You can get a little nervous, but I then just try to stay focused and concentrate on what my job is, sort of do my job really well and try to ride to the best of my ability and try to put the focus onto that and a little bit more about oh goodness, it's really big or really tough, or just really try to concentrate on what my job is. And if I do my job well, hopefully it will go well. The person that helps me the most by far is my wife, Karen. She supports me fully with the business. She runs the business very, very well. She does a lot of riding. She rides a lot of the horses as well, especially when I'm away, but also when we're at home, we sort of do the schooling together and she's the eyes on the ground. She can see what they're doing. If I'm feeling something might feel great, I think it's fantastic. And she can look at it and go, uh, not good enough. So then we try to work a balance there. My two daughters, Jamie and Gemma, they're both riding as well. Jamie is doing year 12 this year. So she's going to concentrate on that quite a lot. But her goal last year was to try to get to Adelaide two star event. She's only 16. She did a fantastic job getting there and, and competing really well. So this year it's going to be all about Gemma. We've got a new horse for her, so she's just starting to on him. His name's Ollie, and uh, hopefully it'll be a good year for Gemma. During a course walk, I suppose what I'm trying to do is firstly, remember where all the jumps are, of course, and then walk the distances and try to figure out pretty much looking at the course through the eyes of the horse that I'm riding. So I might be riding a, a horse in the pre-novice or prelim that's only had one or two starts and it's quite green or I might be riding a really experienced horse. So I try to look at it, how they're going to see it and then very much about trying to get the correct line. That's my job. And then getting the feel of what speed I need to jump that fence at to jump it correctly. It's pretty much, it's quite complicated as well as trying to remember where all the jumps are, of course. This year, sort of with the Olympic Games in mind mainly, uh, Panamera is going to do quite a lot of the one day events um, that are on, sort of Albury and Equestriad and all those events, trying to get a fit, have a few runs, keep her really confident, aiming for the Olympic Games. Uh, another horse, Pluto Mio and Orchard Hill, they'll be sort of aiming for Sydney three day event, which is earlier in the year. So we'll do an event or two before that. And that's to help them to try to get selected. They're both qualified, so try to get them higher up on the selection as well. So quite a busy year. With Panamera's preparations, sort of heading towards the Olympic Games as the goal at the end of the year or mid-year, she's started in work now. So she's just started a walking program on the treadmill and then I'll start riding her in preparations for some one day events and some CIC events on the way through to aiming to getting a fully fit, because I'll need to be very fit, I think, for Greenwich, it's quite hilly, and aiming probably for full fitness in the beginning of June. Other equestrian disciplines that we'd like to do, well, to some degree, I think we do a few of them already in our sport, but love watching carriage driving. I'm not so sure I'd be brave enough to give that a go. It looks a bit too complicated, uh, but definitely love to give reining a go, that's for sure. Don't know whether I want to do it full time, but I'd love to sit on a couple of fully trained horses and have some fun. What keeps me motivated pretty much is the horses that I'm sitting on. If I've got some really nice horses that I like riding, it's sort of coming down and riding them is really enjoyable. So, and then say so that can be babies as well. I've got some young horses coming up now, sort of pre-novice one-star horses that I really like and hopefully have big aspirations for them. So that's the one that keeps me motivated for sure. Favorite food is definitely all seafood, but probably best of all pizza, love pizza. Favourite movie? Probably oh, lots of movies, but the one that springs to mind is True Lies. It's very funny. I like that movie a lot. And favourite book, Power of One. That's definitely my favourite. I read that one quite often. 
I, th I think we're very, very lucky to be doing a, a job that is something we love doing. I love horse riding and I love doing it and to have it as a job, that's a wonderful thing. The only thing for me is I wish I could stay out the sun a bit more, but I suppose that just means putting a big roof on the arena. Just can't afford that. <laughs> the biggest advice I would give to somebody young coming up and wanting to do the sport to a high level is realise it's a lot of hard work. But like I said, it's, it's good fun, it's something you love doing. Keep it something you love doing and that, then it makes it easier to put in those hard hours that it takes and wear lots of sunscreen.